Bible speaks of a throne of God in Scripture. God wants to say thrones plurally of God. There's only one Lord, one faith, one Spirit, one God and Father above all, through all, and in you all. God has manifested Himself only as our Father, our Heavenly Daddy, as our Son, as the Word made flesh to become a man, who is the Word of God the Father, who was the Spirit of God the Father and overshadowed Mary, the Holy Spirit. God has manifested Himself as Father, Son, and Spirit. But that does not mean that He is three gods, or three kings, or three separate and distinct divine people persons. Amen? Because the Bible is clear that there's only one throne of God. 2 Chronicles 18.18 says, Hear the word of the Lord. Capital L O R D, the Hebrew text of Rabbi Tom, for the divine name is there, Yahweh. Hear the word of Yahweh. I saw Yahweh sitting upon his throne. And all the host of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left hand. Notice when God speaks anthropomorphically, attributing human attributes to God, He speaks of one Lord, on one throne, one Yahweh, and the host of heaven, the angelic beings, are on His right hand and on His left hand. Just like the human person has one right hand and one left hand, so God speaks of Himself as one indivisible Lord, one divine person on one throne. Ezekiel 10.1 
represents my road. The place for my, the soles of my feet. This is where I will live among the Israelites forever. That's what happened during the millennial reign of Christ. Isaiah 9 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to honor it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. Notice the word forever. Jesus is going to sit on the throne of David. He's from the tribe of Judah, born in Bethlehem. His lineage is from the offspring, the sin of King David. And he's going to sit upon that throne forever. Yet God says in Ezekiel 43, 7, that God the Father is going to sit on his throne, and he's going to live among his wives forever. Yet Jesus, is, according to Isaiah 9, 7, 7, the prophecy of Jesus is going to sit on the throne of David forever. Are we, do we have room for two thrones? Or you have one throne? Luke 132, he shall be great, and he shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give on him the throne of his father, David. So Jesus is going to sit upon the throne of his father, David. Now, this is interesting. Look at 1 Chronicles 29, 23. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord. Capital L O R D, the Hebrew Tetragrammaton Y H W H, it's the divine name of God the Father being used. So Solomon sat on the throne of Yahweh as king instead of his father, David, and prospered, and all Israel obeyed him. Now, why does inspired scripture say that Solomon sat on the throne of Yahweh? Why? Wow. That wasn't literally the throne of Yahweh. Why did his first scripture say that David and Solomon sat on the throne of Yahweh? Because the throne of David and the offspring and lineage of David was spoken as a prototype. The kings of Judah who reigned were descendants of King David. That was a perpetual throne. That was something that God set up as a prototype for the one who would come. That would sit on the throne of King David. And that is Jesus Christ. That's why it's called the throne of Yahweh. Because one day, from the offspring of David, did Jesus say, I am the, the root of David and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. He is the root of David because he's the creator of David as God Almighty. He is the offspring of David as a descendant of the lineage of David from the tribe of Judah. Therefore, Jesus Christ is the God man who has come to save us from our sins. Emmanuel. God with us, who will sit on the throne of his father David, which is called by his five scripture, 1 Chronicles 29, 23, the throne of Yahweh. Why else would we call the throne of Yahweh? There's only one throne of Yahweh, as we've established in scripture. Let's go on. Isaiah 9, 7 states that there shall be no end to the Messiah's government. And that he shall reign forever. Isaiah 9 7, compare that with Ezekiel 43 7, where Yahweh God says, This is the place of my throne and the place for the soles of my feet. This is where I will live among the Israelites forever. So we find that Jesus Christ is the one that's going to be seated on the throne of David, the throne of Yahweh, forever. And God the Father says in Isaiah 9 7 that this is the place of my throne. This is where I'm going to sit and live among the Israelites forever. Amen? So, here we can see that Solomon's throne, the throne of Yahweh, is God's throne in the future. Praise the Lord. The scripture teaches that God himself shall dwell with his people forever. When Jesus, the Messiah, rules as King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's turn to Revelation 21, verse 1. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven say, Behold, the 
Deus sobre ele 